Joining us now is Debbie Silber, our health correspondent. And we're going to be talking about the term sabotage. I can't wait to find out what she's got to share about that. Hello. I'm so, so happy to be here today to talk about this because normally we think sabotage is, some, is something that others do to, do to us. But what I see on a daily basis is how we sabotage ourselves. And we do this because we have this programming, usually before age seven, and, it, and because of it, we have a belief system already in place. And and we want to do something different. We want a new result. But meanwhile, we keep achieving the same thing over and over because we've never really sort of accessed those files to see what's in there. You know, it's like we have these files in our brain. And it's the, called the self-talk sabotage type of and stuff, it's right? it's typically negative. You know, I, mine's right here. Do you want to see it? It's right yeah. here. And that's exactly why my <laughs> clients have these, these reminder bands. And it's okay. certainly not to hurt us, but it's to remind us that when we have that head trash that says, I'm so fat, I'm so stupid, why did I do that? All these things. We snap it to remind us we need to have a much more empowering thought. I mean, I have people who come in and they say, well, I want a new relationship or I want a new job or I want to make more money or I want, I want to be, become healthy, whatever it is. But those things will never happen unless we rewire our default, our default setting, which is set which is set for a certain level of success or achievement or abundance or love or friendship or whatever. I have some of mine. I'll be vulnerable enough to tell you what they are. One of them sometimes is um, I'm not good enough. One of them is my nose is too big and I don't like the space between my teeth. Um, one of them sometimes is um, feeling like if I'm around somebody of affluence, they're going to know that, that I'm not at that same level and I might not have something to say. I mean, I've overcome them. I'm, I'm 50 now, okay? So, but like those themes that, that run throughout, you know, or um, even, even picking up the phone call, you know, making a phone call to say, hey, would you like to be on the show? And now we're doing major celebrities, but it takes a lot of guts for me to be able to rise to that occasion and not self-sabotage self myself. So how about you? What is your, will you tell us? Oh, you be sure. Vulnerable? What is your well, band Well, about? first of all, uh, this okay. is yours. I'm giving this to you so you Thank can you. snap, snap myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you need to. You are good enough. You are good enough. Of course <laughs> I have some, let me tell you, <laughs> raising four teenagers, it comes up all the time. Of course, I did this thing wrong and that thing wrong, and I'm not this or I'm not that. And it's, it really starts from, think about it, when we're younger and your parents are doing the best they can, but how often do we hear something positive as opposed to something negative? I mean, of course, they're, they're trying to spare us any grief or harm or whatever, but we're hearing things like, don't do that, or, you know, that's no good, or as opposed to, you're awesome, you're terrific, you're wonderful. And that takes a hit on our self-esteem and and it creates sort of that level that we stay at but you have an amazing sense of what's stopping you right now i have the same thing i mean sure <laughs> i'm constantly always learning always growing which all which also means i am a rookie every single day in a new field in a new in a new area and it's it's overcoming that 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 you that's what creates confidence. But it's when we meet up to that comfort zone and we say, uh oh, this is too scary. Let me retreat. We stay back. When we meet up to that comfort zone and say, you know what, bliss is on the other side. Just a little bit. It only takes one more step, one more call. And I've learned that. And yeah. that's why we have the show because we want to help encourage the audience to do the same thing too. So thank you so much. She'll snap away, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's all in our mind. We all know that, right? So whatever your self-talk is, stop it today. You know, snap yourself, just be positive, put a smile on your face because we believe in you just like you believe in us. So thanks for watching.